So today I want to talk about the uh, solution. Uh, what is the solution? I've been talking about the problem for so long now. I've been talking about trying to read Animal Farm into the record and uh, point out what Orwell was talking about, totalitarianism, using animals on a farm and how the animals want freedom. You know, the 1% of the, 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 you know, the ruling class, the guy who owns the farm, controls the animals, and then leads them all to slaughter, takes all their wealth, right? So what is the solution? What is a rebellion, right? Bernie Sanders, rebellion, uh, right? Or, 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 or Obama, hope, hope, Mr. Hope. You remember Mr. Hope, 2008? By 2011, we saw the largest transfer of wealth in the history of America from the from the, the poor and middle class to the super rich, to the wealthy. All the money went to the six large banks. All corporations got all their tax breaks. Everybody got a bonus. And regular people got put out to dry. That was hope. Mr. Hope. Right? Total betrayal, right? Politics. Total betrayal of politicians, right? So we could... So so what is the rebellion? Is the rebellion getting behind you know, we look here. The media the media is totally bought and paid for by the corporations, right? So the media is now fake, right? It's state run media, right? Right. So the courts don't work anymore for the people. You get to, you bring a case up in court, you, you wait ten years and you never get anywhere, right? So the courts are broken. The politicians are, 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 are elected, and then within <laughs> hours, they flip their mind and uh, they start supporting you know, what's called a donor class. They're not donors. They're, they, they start to sell themselves out to the enemy against the people. Right? So how do, how do we rebel? What do we do? Wait for, wait for some profit or... Oops! We wait for Q. The case Q. Q. He's sitting. The guy's sitting to the to the left of Jesus. He's Jesus. He's sitting to the left of God, right? And he's whispering in here, "The rebellion is coming." Right? It's all bullshit, right? That's not that's not a rebellion, right? Sit around waiting for for Trump to lock up the drain the swamp, lock everybody up. He's not gonna lock up anybody. He is the problem. He's he's now officially part of the problem. So how do we and so how do we defend against the military industrial complex? The the five hundred billion dollars a year spent on the military. How do we how do we how do we turn the pharmaceutical industrial complex around that where millions of people in America are hooked on opiates? How do we do these things? Prison. I'm I'm going to get to the solution. I'm getting to the solution. Right? Stay stay there. Stay where you are. You know. Prison industrial complex, two hundred and fifty billion a year spent on on uh, on on uh, it's not spent on, but uh, it generates huge industry. Prison, keep people in jail, keep people poor, keep keep people hooked on on medications. If they're poor, they'll join the army, they'll join the military, right? Fight the wars, keep that money machine going. Right? The other thing is that. Um, <clears throat> Is that when you see these rallies out in the street, right? They're they're, you're like for example the one with the with the, uh, you know, March for Our Lives with the with the kids duped into thinking that that had something to do with gun control. Now, in all likelihood, most of the shootings we've seen, of late, are false flags, right? They didn't really, they they either didn't happen or they didn't happen the way, the media has said that they, happened. Which is just as bad. That's a that's a false flag. It's why are you lying? Why are you lying to the American people? That's something that that is uh, you know in a banana republic, right? So so here's the solution. Right? Ready for the solution? I should get a drum roll. It's my drum roll. Look, the solution is is this, right? We have to organize and stay. Come together, right? How do you, for example, I'll go down the list. How do you stop the, the military-industrial complex? You get people to, to not join the fucking military. 
How simple is that? Right? It's it's see the answers are not you can't say, oh, we should all just, you know, run for Congress and run for run for office and or sue in court. These things are so complicated and so ridiculous for regular people to get their head around, right? That it's it's unrealistic to say, oh, everybody should just go out and, you know, sue and or oh, I'm going to run for city council. Yeah, g- good luck. Good luck doing that. Good luck. You know, before you get anywhere that you'll 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 they'll, they'll, you'll be approached to sell out, right? So it's not realistic. That's not a realistic rebellion. It's not like you join join the party. You tear it down. So military industrial complex, right? They, they depend on a on a volunteer army, right? If people came together and they heard the message of, of of we will not join. Not only that, but we will we will not participate any longer in your in your war, right? If the if if the you know prison industrial complex, you can't say if everybody didn't break a law, but you, you could say that if the the people organizing it, right, the, the cops, the CEOs, the judges, if those people walked away from the table, right, it would end. That's a stretch, but that, that's, that's a little more complicated. What about, what, about, what about the tax evasion, right? What about the rampant tax evasion that <coughs> corporations are allowed to engage in, right? They, they can get they get they have so these corporations six eight ten thousand publicly traded companies, with you know, generating revenue in the trillions of dollars. They don't pay any tax. So that money, that's the money. That's the trickle down right there, right? That's the trickle down. Not only do they not create the jobs they promised, and ship those over, ship the jobs overseas to get it at a, at a lower wage, right? They don't pay. They don't contribute at all to the economy is giant leeches right right so if they're allowed to evade tax why should regular people pay tax right don't pay tax right so what are they going to do what what could the what could the government possibly do lock everybody up if everybody in the country failed to to pay tax are they going to lock lock everybody up can't do it right you're stuck right don't pay tax right and you win, right? These are things that people can can. It's not that they have to do it. These are things that you don't have to do. Don't join the military, right? Don't join the military. Don't don't if you work in the prison system. Don't 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 go. Don't do it. You know, stop, right? Or I had another one. Right? I had another one. I can't think of it right now. But but uh, oh. Here's, here's what I want to say. This is this is ridiculous, but 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 really th- think about it before you before you uh, deem it as ridiculous. So so corporations, right? They make they make all this money, right? They make all this money, and they they um, they pay off politicians, right? And and they 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 break the law in many ways, or they if they can't break the law, they'll petition politicians, lobby them, give them money. And change those laws, and they don't. They evade tax. They're 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 traitors, right? They don't contribute to the country. They just take, right? So, what if we said? What if we made a rule that, you know, on the on the third day of every week, uh, you know, shoplifting and stealing from organizations with a market capitalization of more than ten million dollars is legal, right? See, if corporations like like these giant chains and you know these big, you know, automobile companies and oil companies and and, and uh, you know, food chains, these are the the publicly traded companies that we put our faith in, that we're going to reciprocate, that now pay no tax at all, that are ripping us, ripping us off legally. What if we turned around and ripped them off legally or illegally or? To the point where how if everybody to 350 million 330 million people in America suddenly went out and and uh, fought back against the corporations know thy enemy the enemy is not the guy next to you I'm gonna keep saying it the enemy is the oligarchy the oligarchy 
the oligarchs, the power elite, these are the enemies. The power elite are the enemies. The power elite are the enemies, right? That's who the enemy is. So so what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm saying in 15 minutes or less is that the rebellion because I know it's ridiculous when you hear rebellion. Oh, look, the rebels, you know. How how has that worked out historically? I don't mean going out in the street with a sign is stupid, right? It doesn't work anymore. There was a time where it did work, right? We had a, you know, you had a, you know, make a scene and the and the media was 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 legitimate and they would cover those stories, but now they they don't. They make up their own news and they make up their own crime scenes and they film those crime scenes and and it's really bad, right? So that doesn't that's not the way to it's not the way to go anymore. But but if we could if we could come up with a a system of rebellion that requires people not to do but not to do, that's the question. <laughs> that's the solution, right? Right? That's the solution, right? Right. Legalize, legalize. Don't pay tax. Don't join the military. Right, right. It would, it would halt. The, how is the military-industrial complex? You would end in counterinsurgency wars. You would, you would end these, these occupations. Right, the U.S. Are occupying, and you know the whole Russian narrative is really to instigate. You know, the the the, the military-industrial co complex along the Russian border. Right. That's what it's all about. It's a money machine. It's not. It's not about. You know. It's not about. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It's been a long day, but it, but I think I I, I want to. I just want to. Um, I'm going to stay on for a minute because I believe that that kind of um, that 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 really is the solution. No one comes up with a solution. Everyone says. You know, rally behind the, the, the you know the fake politicians that almost not almost but always sell you out. Right? Look at Bernie Sanders, poor Bernie Sanders. Right? He's talking. He's on TV talking about Russia. He's out. He's out there promoting kids to rally in the street over you know fake fake gun story. You know. All right. So that's the solution. Put your comments down below. You know, I'm, I'm, it's crowdsourcing because this is, I'm always saying this because you guys are saying it in the boxes down below, you know, and I read it and I, and I comment. I'm just, uh, you know, that's all I am. I'm no genius. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a investigative journalist, a YouTube blogger, Soul Plaintiff and Conti versus DSNY. That case is coming up. We should get an answer in the next two weeks, two, three weeks. There's a lot of work. It's a long time coming. That was a long time coming. So uh, if you could subscribe down below. Subscribe, like the channel, share the channel. All right, spread the word. Let's, let's, let's talk about this because I'm going to keep pushing this, you know. Read Animal Farm. Get the PDF online. It's free. You can find, I found it in five minutes. I have the book, but I got it now. I got the PDF on my on my uh, screens everywhere. So uh, peace out.